Fora TV. The world is thinking. When we talk about religion, and I'm talking about all religions, we are not talking about personal confessions of faith. Rarely is that what we mean when we say, I am a Christian, I am a Jew, I am a Muslim, I am a Hindu, or whatever. Think about this. The United States is 78% Christian. Now, think about that for a moment. Do you really think that 78% of Americans go to church on Sunday? Do you think that 78% of Americans read the Bible on a regular basis? Do you think that 78% of Americans can tell you anything about the gospel story at all? Uh, of course not. Uh, the phrase, I am a Christian in this country, has become synonymous with I am American. The cross and the flag have bled into a single icon. That's how it is everywhere in the world. Uh, when you make a statement of faith, you are making a statement that is about your identity. It, it encompasses your ethnicity, your culture, your nationality, the way you understand the world. Um, and so that's not unique by any means to Islam in America or Islam anywhere else. But if I can get academic for a moment here, I do think that it's important to recognize that, as I mentioned earlier, as nationalism uh, begins to give way to other forms of, of collective identity, uh, and this is happening already all across the world, we're a little bit late to it in the United States. I always sort of say that we'll be the last nation standing. Uh, and primarily that has to do with our history, but it also has to do with the fact that we're an island in the middle of you know, a, an, an ocean here in, in some ways. And so in, in much of the world, as religion or ethnicity uh, or tribe or kinship begin to replace nationality as your f primary marker of identity, um, you're going to, your, your sense of collective, your sense of society is going to change. It's going to expand because it's no longer limited by geographic borders. And that's been happening uh, primarily uh, throughout uh, Europe. You're seeing uh, the, the European Union uh, start to really struggle with trying to figure out a way and how do you create, how do you construct a national identity when your birth certificate says European Union, when you have a single currency, a single passport, a single parliament, uh, you know, a single constitution, 27 nations, uh, how, how do you construct a distinctly Danish identity in, in the midst of that? Um, or does your sense of who you are expand beyond Denmark? And, and do you think of yourself primarily as European first and Danish second? Uh, in the Middle East, you're seeing this a lot with people trying to figure out, should I, be, should I define myself as uh, culturally Arab or uh, nationally Egyptian or, uh, or religiously Muslim?